Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please click on like and subscribe. If you've been here before, welcome back. Take a second to drop a comment down below if you would. Now if you've tried this, you'll notice the laser bounces off and it doesn't cut into the tool. If you use this galvanizing compound, it's cold galvanizing compound, there's laser etching compound too, but this works better than that and it's a lot cheaper. Spray this on your tool um, or whatever metal object you're trying to engrave. Give it time to dry. I don't let it dry all the way, but I get it dry enough to touch. That way I can bring it in, put it on the laser. In the meantime, I'm just going in here picking out a design I want to put on this wrench uh, just for an example so you can see what to do. Now you want to try this on a couple different tools depending on your laser, how old the laser is, how new the laser is. You don't engrave different. So try it on a couple older tools so you don't do any damage to anything. And as I stated earlier on the uh, written thing there, uh, some lasers will actually destroy your chrome or melt the chrome or change the compounds of the metal. Um, do this at your own risk with your own tools. Um, but I've done this on Snap-on, Craftsman, basically any brand, cheap brand, expensive brand, and it works almost every time. Now to engrave this, I'm going to set my laser at 100% for, um, for the speed, and I'm only going to do one pass on this. Um, you can do two passes if you want to, but I think one's enough. This gets down into the metal deep enough to leave a fine etching on there, so you can run your fingernail across it and feel it, but it doesn't actually dig down super deep into the metal. Um, I did try this out a few times. Uh, I've done this for quite a while now. I've left them out in the weather. Uh, they don't rust. You don't pick up any rust. But if you have the laser set too hot, it will uh, burn deeper, of course. Or if you have it set uh, to two passes, three passes, four passes, it digs down in deeper, but you also might get into some metals that will actually rust. So just be careful. And again, try it on a couple of uh, practice tools or old tools before you go putting it on your really expensive tools. Now, if you're watching, I just went online, found a picture that I wanted to do engrave. Um, hopefully, you know enough about your X tool. Um, if you're to this point where you're engraving tools, you probably don't know. So I imported a picture, went ahead and resized it. Again, I set my laser to 100% and my speed at 4. Now, you can do your speed faster if you want to. I always have a problem sometimes with vibration or something like that on something like this. And if it gets off a little bit, when it goes over for the second or third pass, it can actually leave a shadow over it. So I try to do one pass if possible. And yes, before someone drops a comment down below, this is a different wrench. I made the font a little bit bigger so you can see it better. I'm going to take the galvanized compound paint, and I'm just going to spray WD-40 on it. Now, again, I have not let this harden all the way. It's been on there for 5 or 10 minutes before I laser etched it. It took 5 or 10 minutes to etch it, and I'm just going to wipe the paint off. So a little bit of WD-40 on there, and that will also lubricate down inside of there, um, just in case you do get a little deep into the metal so it doesn't rust on you. But if you use your tools regularly, especially if you're a mechanic, they're probably going to get oil on them and they're going to stay clean anyhow. Take a minute, drop a comment below. Let me know if you think this is a good idea, bad idea, helped you out, didn't help you out. And again, please click on like and subscribe.